get a lot of questions about our swivel wheel trailer and when we're sitting in our office which is right above this uh, right up there right we can see people walking by all the time asking questions about this trailer that we carry back here right now I've got it unhooked because I'm replacing the trailer lights so I will also show it to you when it's hooked up but while it's unhooked I'll show you the hitch that hitch right there is the dual receiver hitch it also comes with a single receiver hitch but I feel better about having two receivers uh, holding it together and you can see there there's also a roller bar that we put on the bottom of that hitch it made it really convenient all right you just throw that in there put the roller bar on it um, my dad and I made the roller bar and that makes sure that you don't scrape the bottom of your fifth wheel on the ground when you're going in uneven areas uh, it used to be a much bigger problem we had our trailer lifted four inches last year so now it's not as big a problem it used to ride really low in the back and we dragged that all the time you can see by the fact that it's still painted since our last trip well it's still painted and we went on a trip we didn't scrape it once so here in a little bit we're gonna hook this swivel wheel up and get our load all set up on it you can see that the swivel wheel connects to the dual receiver at whatever height you need to set it at which is the standard uh, hitch pin in theory it's got two uh, pin holes there in theory you can unload it let's say you had a, uh, a motorcycle on it you could unload it and then flip it up on the back of your fifth wheel and then go into your site the only people that I've seen do that or heard of doing that um, they've rigged an electric winch onto their trailer hitch to load it up because it is kind of heavy back here you'll see that we added a bar that clipped into the stake pockets that bar is used to put our bikes on so that our bikes can stay back there we used to have the bikes on the front of the truck and if you do any amount of traveling looking at bikes on the front of the truck you'll find out that it really gives you fatigue so once I get this thing back up on the trailer we'll go ahead and take a, another tour of it and uh, you yeah see that the hitch is a dual receiver hitch so it gives quite a bit of stability for the swivel wheel um, you can use a single receiver hitch they do sell it in fact we have one that would hook into the center and still have the dual attachment points I personally don't like it I don't think it's a stable and I don't think it's a safe so I always use the dual receiver hitch and we had the triple receiver on the trailer when we got it anyways so make sure after you hook it all up you put your pins in and everything and then hook up the trailer wires and make sure you have safety chains now I run my safety chains in between this roller bar on the bottom and the hitch and the reason I do that is so that if the roller bar is used right if we drag on the ground and that roller bar hits the ground I don't want the chains in between the roller bar and the ground so I run it on top of the roller bar but below the hitch and then run it through take up the slack and clip it in now there's the bait oh there's not the bait usually when you're connecting chains for a trailer you cross them so that it provides some stability should everything fail and the trailer falls off with this thing if it falls off there's going to be disaster regardless of how the chains are because it's only got one wheel underneath it so the safety chains are just to keep it from bouncing down the highway into somebody else our situation <laughs> if that were to come apart would be a disaster mm -hmm. there's no amount of safety chains that would fix that fortunately we've got two solid mounting points so I don't see that it's actually going to come off unless the whole trailer hitch comes off. So you hook your safety chains up just in case and then we've got our trailer electrical for our lights and make sure you run that on top so that it doesn't get pinched in anything and I've got one more pin to put in there and we're done. That's hooking the swivel wheel up. Once you've got it hooked up you can actually back the trailer up and the swivel wheel goes with you unlike a traditional trailer that's the beauty of the single wheel swivel wheel um, the only downside when you're backing up is that wheel flips and it tips your trailer down so depending on how unlevel the ground is it could really be a pain in the ass when we got here 
the ground wasn't working out for us, so we had to actually take the swivel wheel off in order to back it. Unload it all. Yeah. Don't forget Unload that part. Everything. So it was a pain in the butt. So we get lots of looks with the swivel wheel. We get people <laughs> walking through the campground and staring at it. Our office is right here, so we watch them all the time. Yeah. Uh, lots of curiosity, so that's why we figured we'd go ahead and show it. It allows you to carry some outdoor stuff or some extra stuff on your trailer, but it also comes with a little bit of a penalty of being a pain in the ass. If you have any questions, go ahead and let us know. Drop them in the comments. And we'll all right, all right, all right, y'all. Thanks for watching this video on the swivel wheel. I will tell you to proceed with caution. <laughs> it's not my best friend, but I am grateful for it. Um, so it does help us, like you said, get stuff, um, carry more stuff, should I say, like our weights, our grill, our bikes, and so forth. So Yeah, it's really convenient for the stuff that you can carry. However, about one out of every, I'd say 10 to 15 <laughs> times of using it, backing into a site or dealing with a site, it's a pain in the butt. All right? It adds an extra five or six feet to the length of your trailer and it doesn't track the same way that your trailer does on the wheels. So you really got to use caution. So mm -hmm. if this is the way you want to go or you're thinking about this, just keep in mind that there are some other considerations and it isn't all rainbows and unicorns using the swivel wheel. No. Sometimes it's a pain in the ass. Nope. So anyways. Well, that's it y'all. Uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell. If you want to know when we drop our videos, thanks for watching. We'll see y'all next time.